A simple and cheap formula is helping babies born prematurely battle a potentially fatal disease. Developed by a group of Sydney doctors, the treatment tackles a bowel condition before it even develops. Medical reporter Sophie Scott has this exclusive report. This perfectly formed baby weighs just over a kilo and is smaller than a carton of milk. He was born 11 weeks early and this special medicine being fed to him through this tube could save his life. The neck is quite a deadly condition. A lot of babies die from it. So it's, it's really good to know that they have a way to treat it before they're um, getting it. Neck is a serious bowel condition common in many babies born before 32 weeks. Ezekiel Huxley has only just left the neonatal unit. I think for us it gave us a real peace of mind knowing that there was just one less thing that we had to worry about because uh, there were so many other complications. Doctors at Sydney's Nepean Hospital have been giving a special probiotic supplement to all babies at risk. Essentially it's good bacteria like those found in some yogurts mixed with breast milk. There's not much treatment available. So prevention is the best option and that's what we have shown that probiotics are quite helpful in preventing this serious and deadly condition. Almost 18 months we looked at first products found in Australia. So we used to walk in the pharmacy actually and we tried that. So we looked at the product which are available on the shelf and then looked at their composition and found that at the end of the day we could not find a suitable and safe product in Australia. Then we looked overseas and found a particular product which was manufactured in Switzerland which was suitable. Then we did our own safety analysis in our Nepean lab and the university lab and found that particular product is safe, doesn't have any contaminants and then we started using it after taking all the paperwork from Drug and Therapeutics Committee, Therapeutic Good Administration of Australia. So it was a pretty long journey actually. It took us about 18 months, just one, to find a product, get it approved by the right authorities and then introduce it. We had about 5.6% incidence of neck from 144 preterm babies which were matched to the characters what we have in the prospective group and since last one year we haven't seen a single case of neck so it's a huge reduction uh, I mean probably 100 percent but in future I'm, I think we might see odd case of neck but uh, definitely looks like we will probably achieve more than 50 percent reduction anyways and it's a huge benefit I mean if you look at the cost data about neck I mean if one baby gets neck it's going to put a burden on about $85,000 on the health system. If that baby requires surgery, then it's sort of additional burden of $150,000. And many of those babies do end up with poor developmental outcome, including cerebral palsy. And that's the additional cost on the health system. Whereas we're talking about probiotics, I mean, the amount of money we have spent is something like $50 to $75 per baby. So it's a huge saving for a country like us. So the crib side, they got a small bowl, a plastic sterile bowl, they put some milk in it, capsule, dissolve it, and they just put it in the feeding tube and give it. And it's given only once a day medication, up to 35 weeks corrected age. So babies can get it for a few weeks, and then we stop it at 35 weeks. After the success at Nepean Hospital, the treatment's now being used in 10 hospitals across Australia and New Zealand. Sophie Scott, ABC News. We had a, a great support from all our staff, including nursing staff and the medical staff and the pharmacists as well. Our pharmacist agreed to look at uh, importing and sort of doing all the paperwork and they have, they have helped us. From nursing staff, uh, we have to educate them and now it has become a routine thing. So they're so used to it that uh, the nursing staff from other hospitals are coming to our hospital and looking at them and uh, this has been really I would say a great support from everyone, including our nurse unit manager, my colleagues, our medical colleagues as well. And it has also generated interest in other uh, organizations, like for example, NICAPS, who are the parent support group. And their question was, uh, well, sadly this wasn't available when their babies were over here, but now they're supporting us. They already agreed to support us for another two years, so we got funding about $8,000. Then other local organizations like OSWAC, they are also supporting us to do other research projects because there are still some unanswered questions. For example, maybe we need to look at different dosing regimen. So OSWAC is funding us to do those research projects. 
and we also have uh, Nepin Medical Research Foundation who will be supporting us as well for the future research projects. So it has generated huge response and huge support from uh, uh, various organizations in Nepin and ICU or NBMLH2. Madison Parsi was the first baby in Australia to get the supplement. We come to the conclusion that yeah, it was the benefits far outweighed any negatives. So. Yes, we are uh, definitely very proud to be uh, one of the leaders uh, in this field of probiotics. It's very encouraging, it's, uh, it's a very new thing and I'm proud to say that our group is one of the leaders in this field.